Now let's move on to the other big story which has got everyone talking and also quite worried. It's an open secret that getting driving licenses across the country often means submitting fake documents but now it seems that this may also apply to flying planes. With 4,000 licenses under the scanner, no wonder the Civil Aviation Minister said the government was viewing things very seriously. My issues are very serious huh? and we will, never, I, because we discuss, he discussed with me more than or once or twice and uh, the order, blanket order has been given, go ahead. There's no lenience to, leniency to anybody. And we know who are, he tell me who are all involved, what kind of things are involved in. And this also, there are about 40 schools, uh, training, this flying school or whatever it may be. There we'll go into, there definitely we'll discuss and definitely we'll make an audit. It's not just the government, all airlines have also had to take measures to reassure their passengers. Air India in a note to NDTV said, Soon after, the Director General of Civil Aviation found some discrepancy in the records of two pilots. The company suspended one and took the other off flying. The CMD, Arvind Jadav, has also appointed a three-member committee of executive directors to scrutinize the records of pilots of this particular batch and submit their report to the Chief Vigilance Officer for further action. The number of pilots being looked into is around a dozen. And the aviation regulators, the DGCA, they have also admitted that perhaps they haven't been able to regulate the flying schools very well. Bharat Bhushan spoke to Kashish and who said that airlines should also accept their responsibility in checking pilot licenses. This is a pretty high statistic by any, um, by any standard. Do you think this is a cause of worry for passengers who use the airlines every day? I certainly would uh, like to reiterate that uh, there is no reason for any panic. Uh, we do have systems in place. After all, the systems threw up these uh, cases also. On verification, it is found that uh, they were uh, not having the required qualification. But there are two types of fraud which have come out, and we must be very clear about it. There are some who did not pass the CPL exam, who at the same time presented uh, mark sheets, forged mark sheets, saying that they have passed. This was a case of five which we have reported to the police and action is being taken. The other cases which you are talking about are probably, I don't know the numbers, but at the same time there has been a, a raid conducted by the Anti-Corruption Bureau of the, of the Rajasthan government in one of the flying clubs and a few cases have come out where uh, candidates have uh, been credited hours, flying hours, which they actually did not fly. So that is that is the whole. I mean, we should have, a, uh, but you must also understand that there are at least more than 10,000 CPLs and about 4,500 uh, airline pilot licenses which are issued. So, looking at the numbers, I, I don't think that is a it's a huge problem. But at the same time, we have to be very vigilant. We have to protect the integrity of the process, and that's what we are trying to do. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, fastest scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.